once you are done, send your CV to me. Let me see what I can do. And see, I have sent my CV. It's now one year after graduation. You're gonna get a good paying job. You're gonna get a good car. And life will just be like, yo, what's up? Those job vacancy on, on Telegram. And guess what was part of the requirement? She must be copy. Hey loves, welcome to my channel. This is Christiana Okori. If you are stopping by for the first time, please do well to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And I want you guys to stay to the end of this video. At the end of this video, I'll be giving a shout out to some accounts. So if you want your account to be among those just watch out if your account is among those so please just stay to the end of this video i'll be talking about my experience my experience as a nigerian graduate an unemployed nigerian graduate and life after nyc life after university you know i feel all nigerian graduates can relate to this topic you know remember then in school when you say um after graduation you're gonna get a good paying job you're gonna get a good car um get married by 25 have your children and start living happy ever after and life will just be like yo what's up i see yourself saying come and order oh come and order your products please so oh, send me your orders Please, oh, come and buy my bags, original bags for sale. Like, Nigeria can turn you to that. Do I would like to talk about my NYC. It's a story that I keep talking about. You know, NYC actually is a short of Nigeria. Nigeria Youth Service Corps. And it's a one-year mandatory program for all Nigerian graduates. Um, if you don't have that program, if you don't partake, you don't have the discharge certificate or the exemption certificate, I don't think you can work in a public fire exercise. I don't know about private company, but, but for a company, a public company, you need to have that certificate. You know, when registering for mine, uh, you have to choose like four states for you to serve. So out of those four, they can post you to any. I remember choosing Kaduna, I remember choosing Lagos and two other states I can't remember. And a date to when I'm supposed to get my call up letter showing where I was posted to. I had a dream that I was posted to Kaduna and in that dream I was crying like I cried out so sad in the dream. And guys get what? The next day when I was about to check my when I was when I checked the where I was posted to <coughs> guys <coughs> it was not funny I actually saw Kaduna in the real posting letter the weather letter that shows where I was posted to guys I was so heartbroken I was so heartbroken but we moved up to serve a father land i go to kaduna that's the first time i've been to the north that's the first time i, I even thought north is like this odds and bushes so when i got to kaduna i saw the other part of north or that north is not what i think north is and i got to the camp the camp was cold it's a very cold area like uh, i don't like cold and when I got to the camp, from the first day I got to the camp, I was already counting down to the last day because I want to leave. I am tired. I never, I never actually enjoyed camping activities, the early morning jogging, the early morning parade, waking up very early as early as three o'clock to take your bath, and with cold water, you hardly get hot water unless you have to buy it. The camp was, it was in actually the last week I started enjoying the camp. Uh, I, I don't think I would like to experience that camping experience again. Okay, on the last day of the camp, I was posted to a local government. Guys, I don't know the name of the, I don't even know. When I tell somebody this local government, where they will shout, shows is somewhere I cannot go. So I had to change it. I had to tell them that I can't go there. I had to change it to the town. So I was posted to, actually, I didn't even get the place. 
to serve actually had to search online for schools i can serve and i was lucky to get this school in the north and it's they provided us accommodation and it was fun staying there because i don't have to pay for accommodation and i don't have to pay for transport to work so that way i was able to save and now after service job hunting you know this job hunting experience everybody have their share of this job hunting shout out to all my brothers and sisters that when we are graduating our uncles or family member want to tell you once you are done send your cv to me let me see what i can do uncle auntie i have sent my cv oh it's now one year my cv is just cooling in your email what's up Guys, after service, after university, you are on your own. Unless you have connection, obviously, you are on your own. Now, talking about job hunting. Everybody, as I said earlier, everybody have had their share of the job hunting trauma. Where you meet with job agents and they are asking you to pay. Pay for them to look for a job for your uncle. Why was I even looking for a job in the first instance? Is it not to get money? Where do I get money to pay you? You see some will tell you that after getting the job, your salary, you have to pay them a percentage from your salary. Isn't that wickedness? I mean, okay, do you want to talk about the ridiculous job requirements that this H house, this recruitment firms put out for a role? Like you want to see a graduate trainee role, for instance, and they'll be asking you for five years experience. Excuse me five years i graduated last year and where will i get the five years experience they will ask you for certifications that will take years like two years to get they i just have this i don't know i think they need to reform this nigerian companies and their requirements for the french graduates even internships you see them demanding three years experience to even for you to intern Actually, why you want to intern is not for you to get the experience. Actually, I actually um, came across this job recruitment, um, this job vacancy um, on Telegram. And it's uh, a vacancy for an admin assistant. The, um, the person is to like remind people to put on their protective gears and that. And guess what was part of the requirement? She must be curvy. I don't know the what relationship being curvy as with being able to do your job. Can you imagine? I'm going to fix the screenshots of that requirement. Being curvy, like why? Another one was um, a job or vacancy for a lab technician. And do you know one of the requirements is for the person to be able to write or cada. What correlation do they have? Lab and Okada. It's not making sense. I mean, you see, this job requirements are just so crazy. Like, you just be like, what is the need of going to school? Like, what's the essence? Are we going to talk about the sexual harassment that especially the female job seekers face? You see one telling you to spin for daddy? Like, hello, am I coming to spin all through and you pay me? I mean, the job of the sexual harassment is so much, like for job seekers. I don't know what they're going to do about this. Seriously, so alarming and so frustrating. Or the one that you will write your interview. After writing the interview, you will go for, oh, sorry, you write the um, aptitude test. After passing the aptitude test, you go for the interview. And after and after the interview, you are feeling all oh, motivated, all oh, motivated, all oh, confident. And two weeks pass, three weeks, one month, six months, one year. No feedback. No feedback from the company. And job seekers will take their time to, to apply for your job. Take their time to attend your test. Take your time to attend your interview and you just blank on them just like that. I mean, this HR should know that we deserve a feedback. 
life after university is actually not the way we think it's going to be it's not so rosy it's not sometimes you have this frustration you and sometimes you're depressed sometimes you just like um is going to school worth it after all i just hope this system is being fixed and there's some who tell you go start a job go, i mean go start a business what do you use to start a business not money all these motivational speakers just find their way out of my side because they will go all motivation and they will start a business and employ people and we won't talk about um those people that will send job um invites interview invites to you and you don't know where they got your mail from you and when you um when you go for the interview you see them saying and they want to train you or something and after the training they collect money for materials I mean, there are a lot of job scams, especially in Lagos, Nigeria. There is a lot of job scams here. And people even get kidnapped while trying to go for interview. And it's so crazy, like, this whole thing is... If you can really relate to this topic, if you can relate to what I'm saying, just drop your experience in the comment section. Tell me how your NYC was. Did you enjoy your NYC? Did you, um, how you enjoyed your school? Did you enjoy schooling? Your job, um, hunting experience? What you face? I would like to read and see people that we are in the same boat. So guys, um, I'll be giving a shout out. Actually, from the beginning of this video, I said I'm going to give a shout out to some people. So these are the people I'm giving shout out to. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking my post. Thank you for subscribing and Please do remain here. I'll be giving out um, love, good contents from now on. Um, guys, we've come to the end of this video. I'm sure all guys can relate to this. So if you have um, any experience you'd like to share, you can drop it in the comment section. And the question you'd like to ask, you can drop them in the comment section. Guys, thank you for staying with me through this video thank you for staying through this video it's your girl christiana okuri and i'm the face behind this channel and thank you for staying with me please do subscribe like and drop a comment thank you